What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up? Today's live broadcast is sponsored by King of the South, Central Florida. You see the dates, it's where it's at, it's how it's going down. Do not miss it. King's Bash, September the 23rd to the 24th, 2016, Orlando, Florida. We'll be in the, build, in the building, so. Dietrich, what up? Always shout out Greg Dole, GMS Racing. Of course, T Man Performance, T Riser. Got some city bike fest. Stand by, I got a couple interviews. I got to call some cats, man, and you know what I'm saying? Get their take on who going to do what and who going to do whatever. Ronald, Nicole, Dietrich, what up? My fam, man. Today's topic Patrick, what it do? Dwayne Robinson, Anthony, what up, baby? Luke, what it do, baby? Man, sorry for y'all lost. Uh, was stepping them going through something down there in Chicago. They lost their sister. Tracy, what up, man? I want y'all to know, too. Today's topic is brought to you by Tracy Amtone. So, she is the reason for today's topic. So, y'all stay tuned. Johnny T, what up? My man TC. Dwayne Robinson, what up with it? Go get a twine. What up, Ronald? Hey, let me tell y'all something while we waiting to get my numbers up. You know I got to have my numbers up, man. So, while we're waiting on that, let me tell you something. All you cowboy haters, it's a bunch of you motherfuckers. Quit sending shit to my page thinking I'm going to post cowboy haterism on my page. I'm not going to be able to do it at all. It's the Dallas Cowboys HD or nothing. It's just that simple. So, don't be sending a little slick, little slide, little pictures and all of that and you know what I'm saying? All of that bullshit, man. Because I'm not posting it on my page at all. I'm just not going to be able to do it. My sister Carla, what up with it? What's going on? Freeway. So, my man Charles down the pound, thank you for your support, man. So now we at 28, man. I got me some links on, too. So, I'm, saying, I'm working on something. But we at 28. Let me get this together. Colin, what it do? Here where we at 32. Reese, what up with it? Charlie, Mr. Bunch, what's going on? Today's topic. You see, I got mine. Kind of dark, y'all can't see it, but I got my little vinegar water. And like my little vinegar, I'm gonna make me some water for the day. So yeah, and then we got this machine right here. For those of y'all don't know, this is an alkaline water machine. It only pours alkaline water. Okay, my mama got it on the tea. So, it's all part of my little health thing we got going on, man. So I got that with my vinegar. I always add some vinegar to it, that, uh, whatever that stuff is. All right. So I got that, and I always put some of that in there. The apple cider vinegar. That's that, hold on. They say this stuff is supposed to help you lose weight and a whole bunch of other little healthy shit I'm trying to, you know what I'm 
Oh, I got your phone on here. I come right now. All right, y'all ready? Support. We're talking about support. Stacy, what up with it? Uh, Tony Jones, Omar, Calvin. What up with it, my man, Calvin Curley? Damn, 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 you stole my topic. <laughs> well, we can help. We can share this one together. Ted, Steelers, hey, man. Fuck your Steelers. You know what I'm saying? Cowboys or nothing, man. And I thought somebody else said something on there, too. Anyway, let's get it. Hold on, give my mama her phone. <laughs> Okay, so today's topic is support. We have 40. Let's go. Ken Folk, hey man, fuck you in that post for the Cow Dallas Cowboys. Y'all need to go get up off my Cowboys, man. So, <laughs> shake it up my little way. Today's topic is support. What is the definition of support? A lot of people always talk that um, supporting each other on the bike set. Everybody wants. Everybody wants to support. Is it the support that you want, or is it the money that you want? It ain't in here. Whatever y'all think. It's in there. Oh, yeah. Is it the money that you want, or is it really the support? What is support? Let's talk about it, man. Somebody tell me what support is. HD, what up with it? Yeah, Kent Folk. That part. <laughs> Love you, homie. I really do. But y'all will get up on my God, boy. It's the money. Need you to follow Bad Blood Posse so that I can share this these posts. Okay, send me a request, um, and uh, uh, I'll make sure I add them. JD, what up? Exactly, what up, Sal? So, what's in that cup? This is alkaline water and apple cider vinegar. So this is what I drink at least one of these. Bad folks. For fat folk? Mm -hmm. oh, my mama, you said she said for fat folk. <laughs> so anyway, this is what I drink. Dirty, what up? Today's topic, Dirty, is support, man. What is the definition of support? Everybody always scream that. We want support. We support it. We support We ride our motorcycle. We do this. We do that. We do this. We do that. Okay. Well, one thing I'm going to tell you is this. Support has to start within your own organization. Support has to come from you supporting your brother first. If you can't support your brother, you damn sure can't support another MC. And what I mean by supporting your brother, if you don't support other MC functions, then who do you think they will ever? Then how do you think they will ever support your shit? I got you, Adrian. But we, we're gonna get we're gonna get deeper than that. Cause see, this shit is on on some personal shit. Okay, what up, homie? Support whom? See more. Okay. So when you say support. And we're talking about supporting each other. How can you support me and the Kings if you're not even supporting your own organization? I.e., you're not riding the motorcycle. They gotta, they gotta threaten you to pay dues. You don't want to wear your vest; it's too hot. You don't want to go to this function because it's other shit you want to do. Um, you know what I'm saying? You don't like being around these people, so you don't even go to the clubhouse. You don't go here. You don't go there. So let's get that together. If you're not supporting, homie, we need to do, be doing this one together. And, we, and we, we can redo it. Build a relationship first with them, okay? If you're not supporting your own club, your own club brother, if he has a business, if he has a service that he offers, if he has, even if, if his family, period. If you're not supporting that, then how in the fuck ever can you support me and my organization? 
So, uh, let's get into it. Now, again, we've been preaching, I've been preaching lately that everything we need is, is on the set. Everything we possibly need. Plumbers, from plumbers to lawyers to doctors to mechanics. And, and I'm not saying all of them are top shelf. I'm not saying that. Some going to be better than others. You feel what I'm saying? But they're there. You feel what I'm saying? And they need our support. If we can't if we can't spend money with each other, you feel what I'm saying? And I'm saying money because support and money go hand in hand. Yes, you can support people other ways with just your your time, your energy, you know, your effort and your kind word. Big Cell, good morning, bro. How do you feel about the clubs that um, about the clubs that only support the only their only organizations? We're gonna get into that. Okay. If we can't keep ourselves afloat, for example, I'm going to use my man right here. Uh, where's my man? Where'd my man go? Um, what up, Roy? Got some city bike fest. I just spoke on that. Uh, uh, Ken Folk, my man Ken Folk. Ken Folk has a design that he came up with, um, his t-shirt company. You feel what I'm saying? I don't know how well he's doing or how well he's not doing, but... I don't see a lot of y'all rocking this shit. I don't see a lot of y'all rocking my shit. And I don't I don't really care. I got more people that rock my shit overseas and other shit than, than the locals, especially here in Atlanta or even on the bikes that I do have a lot of fans and followers and I thank you for that. And I go out of my way to put on a superior product, an excellent product, and to try to keep it um you know um you know, try to keep it the best that it can be. So it support just going to bike nights, going to club houses, um, like Reg, like Dirty just said, buying a beer, or is it more than that? It's way more than that. You feel what I'm saying? But how do you begin to even address that when a club as large as yours is going to have clicks? You can't possibly think you you can cancel everyone on the same accord. You can okay. I'm gonna get into that. Yeah, let me let me let me get this stuff or let me let me get you the definition of what support is. Okay. Support is when you when you like I said, financially, physically, mentally, um, and just being a good friend, support, encourage, motivate, um, even help educate, give ideas, do whatever. You feel what I'm saying to your brother. You feel what I'm saying that's where the support comes from. You don't have to. You don't have to spend a dollar with FHO. But when you talk against FHO, that's that don't help support FHO. When you stop somebody else from spending a dollar with FHO or 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 supporting FHO, you, you're you're actually killing it the, the same thing as well. So what we have to understand is this: if you have, if we can't support each, you know, not tear down, if we can't support each other, you feel what I'm saying? Within our own club, within our own lifestyle, within our own clique, if I can't support DJ Dirty, then how can I expect, or how can DJ Dirty even expect for me to support his club, Rare Breed? Now, some of y'all are using or disguising "we need money" with the word support. Yeah, some of y'all disguising or disguising. Hubba, what it do? Tony, what it do? Some of y'all disguise. Wallace, what it do? Some of y'all disguise the word support or the the the, the we need money or give us give a give me give me give me give me give me money with the word support. What happens when you support the bigger club on a regular basis, but the bigger club don't support the smaller clubs? I'm just saying it's very simple. Set them that I see a larger club supporting smaller clubs and more. Oh, see more. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Smaller clubs become forty to one hundred deep at uh, at another big at a big club. So now let, let me tell you this. So now, King of the South, one hundred deep. What is a sufficient amount of number that you want to see the Kings at? What 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 is what is what is the official amount of Kings that you want to see at your event? If they if you say the Kings got hundred members, if they send fifteen, is that support? If you send 50, is that support? 
Or can we simply just buy 30 tickets or swap 30 tickets? Because, see, that's been my thing for the longest. And I tried this with several clubs, several major clubs and small clubs. I'll tell you what. We're going to give y'all 30 tickets. Y'all give us 30 tickets. Well, no, Big Sale, we can't do that because y'all tickets is only $10 and ours is $15. That's a $5 difference. Oh. Okay. So how many people in your club? Your club got 25? So that's 250. Well, we're going to spend 250 with your club. So the same 250 you're going to give us, we're just going to give it back to you. So that mean only instead of 25 people coming to your event, that mean only up to 250, the amount of 250 going to come. It don't make no sense. If you got a relationship with a club, just swap the tickets. Hey, man, for y'all anniversary, we want 30 tickets. We're going to give y'all $30 because you're making your money at the bar. You're not making it at the door. Okay. And if it's about money. The Kings, we, it's not about money. We put on a, a whole weekend event. We try to put on a whole weekend event and try to give you the best possible hospitality and everything else that we can give you. So, support. <laughs> Everybody got their own thing. The bigger clubs don't support the smaller club. I'm going to tell you like this. If you want me there, if you want me there, have a good event. Have some hospitality. Have a good event. Have some hospitality. Have some shit worth me coming. Have some shit that's going to make me get on my motorcycle. Endure the elements. <laughs> The traffic, the bullshit, the bad drivers and everything to get to your event and to be able to be there and be appreciated. How about that? How about learning how to appreciate people being at your event? Learn how to appreciate people supporting you at your event. Because you got to understand this. While your event is going on, it's 15 other events going on all over the world. It's only 365 days on one calendar. The motorcycle community really only functions three days out of the week, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You know, you got the bike nights and stuff during the week, but technically speaking, we only function three days during the week. And it's only, what, 52 of those? It's 52 weekends in a year, okay? Out of 52 weekends, every weekend is 20 events all over the world. Hmm. So, but you mad because didn't nobody come to your event. Well, we did go support. Say, man, y'all know how the game go. 30 days before your event. Some of y'all even get smart and try to do it 60 days before your event. Now you want to come out. All of a sudden, so-and-so motorcycle club is riding motorcycles. All of a sudden, and I tell you, if you ever around me, anybody that know me, when I see you and I haven't seen you, the first thing I say, oh, they got an anniversary coming up, huh? They must got to, they got to have an anniversary coming up because now they out here campaigning. You have to be addressing the crowd on a scale as large as your club for some of your points to apply. No, I'm just saying, even for the smaller club. See, because number one, you didn't start your club to get support from others. You started your club because you believed in whatever it was that your, your oath or your creed was to ride motorcycles. So nobody in this room said, look, man, we're going to start a club because we, we want everybody to come to our club. We, we're going to start a club because we want the support of the community or we want the support of the bike set. You didn't start a club with that. You started a club because you said you love to ride motorcycles. So if that being the case, why are you mad that don't nobody support you? Hey, y'all support each other. Y'all have a good time with each other. That's all that should matter. Period. If don't nobody come to your shit, so what? We still gonna do what we do. And it should be just that simple. We still gonna do what we do, man, because it's not about who fucks with us, but we fuck with us. Yes. Hold on, yes. Mm-hmm, 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 yes. 
Here. Hold on, y'all. See that right there? Y'all already can't see that. Let me show you. Yeah, that's them chicken links, man. Yee, gotta have them. Chicken. <laughs> So, if it was, if it's about, if it's about motorcycling, then let it be about motorcycling. Don't let it be about support. Don't let it be about the dollar. Roland Hodge, my cousin. What up, cousin? You guys need to follow him in his prayers. He does prayers two or three times a day. Go to him, hit him up, check him out. Also, if you're supporting others, you shall receive support. And most people have three to four people going out, and then they want. Your two hundred, your two thousand members to come out and you see them once a year because those niggas are in. Okay. Basically, what he's saying is this: you send two or three, but you want fifty your way. Okay. So I got you and Queen. If y'all come to the other side of Darkness Dance in October, Richmond. Okay. Yeah, let me know. That's what I'm talking about. Damn right, it's a family reunion in that bitch, regardless whether you won. Or one million other show. What up, Rags? If you're using your party for money, something isn't right. But hey, I'm just a kid. I don't know shit. <laughs> Orlando Frank. What up, Sell Pound for Pound? Not about the money on this end. We try to feed everybody well to show everybody a damn good time. Small club coming up. But that's why y'all got the numbers y'all got. Pound for Pound doing numbers. Small club, big club. See, because you want to put the number game on. You want to say small club versus big club. It don't matter. We're not supporting your, the members, the number of members you got in your club. We're supporting the club. Period. Wherever I go, I'm only going because most of the time, and I'm finna say this might hurt a few niggas' feelings. Hollywood, I mean, hi, Rod, what up? This might hurt a few niggas' feelings. Most of the time, when I come to y'all clubs, I only know one or two of y'all anyway. So the other 30 members, the other seven, the other nine, the other 400 that you got don't mean shit to me anyway because I don't know them. I only know one or two that I've seen on the highway or the byway. You feel what I'm saying? I only know one or two that came to function with me. So it's the bonds and the relationship that, that I build with the members that get me to your club. It's, it's not the members. Because if we was the base on that, I don't know you niggas. You feel what I'm saying? Um, so you you got to understand that, man. you you got to understand that. Hey, tell the kids, I tell my uh, nephews and them, I said, uh, have a good time. Imagine mine. Y'all be safe too. Love you, Coco. you got to understand that. Support isn't about numbers. It's about it's about the quality of the entire event. It's about the people on a whole that come out. So is using your clubhouse to generate money become a bad thing though? No, 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 no. It's not about using your clubhouse to generate money. Okay, it's not about that. But if I come to your clubhouse, ain't nobody speaking, everybody had it too bad, and y'all feel like I'm supposed to be there because it's a clubhouse. Well, I'm supposed to be there because it's y'all bike night. Well, I'm supposed to be there because that's that's just what the fuck I'm supposed to be, nigga. I know I'm not coming. Yeah, I don't drink anyway. I don't smoke. I don't drink. I don't do none of that shit. So the only thing you can give me, the only thing you can get from me is a one or two dollar soda. That's it. So if you need my one or two dollars and you're not going to say, hey, what up, sell, or greet me with a hug or a handshake or the fellowship, then you just won't get them because that's all I'm giving you anyway is one or two dollars. I don't drink, so I'm not in there buying the bar. Yeah. Yeah, let me get a large sprite on, on the rocks, please. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? That part right there. Let me get a large sprite on the rocks. How much is that? There's a dollar. There you go, partner. Oh, you want to? Yeah, I'm sorry. Get, look, get a little more one, too. That's two dollars. I'm done. That's all the support you're getting me. But understand this. When you have something or you need something, a connection, a hookup, a part for your bike or whatever it is, call me. I'm a, I got you. Because that's that's what the support is all about. The support is bigger than me just coming to your clubhouse. The support is bigger than me giving you my $2 every weekend. The support is bigger than that. If you open up a clubhouse based on other people coming to spend money in your clubhouse to pay the rent, you better shut that bitch down. <laughs> You better shut it down. And I mean, you better hurry up and shut it down. Because you are opening up a clubhouse for the wrong reason. 
we have to get back to the days, man, of showing love, of really appreciating the people that appreciate you, the people that come out and spend their time. Time costs money, man, especially in these days and age. Man, me personally, I'm not even going outside unless I have to because they killing niggas outside. They stopping niggas for any reason and killing you right there. Bye. You should be right there in the seat. You know what I'm talking about? So I'm not coming outside just because it's your bike night or just because it's your clubhouse function. If I'm not coming there to be around some partners that I've, that I've bonded with and that I've made some cool friendships with, then I'm not coming. I don't know how Young blood, you said clubhouse whole history. That's true. But I'm telling you, if you opened up your clubhouse, guesstimating, expecting, or with the impression that the community is going to help you pay your rent, you might as well shut that bitch down now. Because that's not the reason to open up a clubhouse. If the members that are in that club cannot sustain every bill, every facet of that clubhouse, then you're going to fall. And I can attest to that, Frank. And when the, when the queen went down, you guys were Johnny on the spot, got her situated, got her wheel to get back home, and I love pound for pound. For that. See, that's what I'm saying. And they'll tell you, pound for pound don't even charge me for shit when I go to pound for pound. Okay? They don't charge sale for nothing. But I support them with no matter what. No matter what they need, when they come this way, they, that's just what we do. You feel what I'm saying? It ain't about the money with pound for pound. They love having sale there and sale love being there. Same thing when they come here. They love being here and, just, and vice versa. So that's what I'm trying to tell you. It's bigger. It's not about the money. It's about supporting. It's about me, number one, happy that my brother's doing some, the same thing that I'm doing. We got the same common interest. Number two, happy for the fact that he's happy with the club that he's in and they're, and they're doing whatever they're doing. And number three, I want to see my brother. I miss him. I, I, I don't get to see y'all as often as I would like to. You feel what I'm saying? So if having a party or having your anniversary... It's based on the number of people that come support you. You lose them from the beginning. My man, Ra, no matter the size of the event, big or small, create an environment where cats feel safe and appreciated. And cats will come support you. Some real shit. I don't agree with that, bro, about not coming out. Hell, I haven't rode with a tag on my bike yet and ain't... and and. And ain't had no problems. Mark, you's a special individual. You's a motherfucker that want plenty of motherfucking attention. You feel me? And you're going to get off my page with that bullshit, man. You're going to get off my page. Every time somebody got something to say, you got something opposite to say. Mark Clark, get your ass a life, get your ass a club, and find you some business. You feel what I'm saying? But you're going to put some respect on my page, nigga. If I said it is what it is, it is what it is, and I can prove that it is what it is. Yeah, so you want any more any more attention you want? Yeah, because that's all you're going to get from me. That part. Anyway. Yeah, I'm back. I'm sorry about that. You know what I'm I had to get somebody some attention. They wanted some attention. <laughs> People always remember how you made them feel. Number one. Number one, number one, number one. If you want support, man, you, you got to go out and function. You got to go out and mingle. You got to ride your motorcycle. You feel what I'm saying? But the smaller clubs, okay, you can't expect for the bigger clubs to see, to, 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 well, and it ain't even about smaller versus bigger. So I ain't even get into that. Um, if you're a small club, you're a small club. That's, that's who you bond with. That's how, that's how it is. So when you throw your anniversary or whatever event you throw, whoever show up shows up. You feel what I'm saying? But let me tell you something. I'm trying to give you an example of a club that's small, but to get mad love. Um, what's the name of that club that we that we um, that we go to? They're not a real big club, but you see them all the time. Uh, well, I could I could even shout out my man uh, Calvin Curley, his club out there in, in uh, Houston. It's Triple C Riders. They're not big. But you see them niggas every every big event, every major, whatever, they own it. And their hospitality is on fleek. 
hospitality on deck. You hear me? Hospitality on deck. We have to wake up collectively, structuring a way to bring the community back together. That part right there, uh, Troy. Um, that part right there. Can you speak on what people in the small cities could do to get support, like here in Phoenix? Um, and second to none, get support. Period. See, now, so now let's talk about you club with multiple chapters. Okay. Right now, I believe for second to none, and I'm just using them as a as a you know, I love second to none, all chapters, all period. period. But I'm I'm just going to use it as an example. Um, second to none, I think premier chapters. And I'm gonna say premier as a word. I'm not gonna no, because I mean the other ones are not premier. But second to none's uh, most noted chapter, most noticeable and most noted chapters uh, are um, L.A. the mother chapter, I believe, and Dallas. Okay, those chapters and those um, those chapters get the love that they get because um, I think the mother chapter gets the love that they get simply because they, they, they put down the work in LA and, and they function. I'm not going to say, and this ain't no disrespect to the mother chapter, my man Cowboy, Bam, the whole nine yards. I'm not going to say I've seen them in Atlanta uh, on, on, on back-to-back occasions or whatever, but I do see them whenever I'm out and, and they make sure that they support their own nation. Dallas, we see them and have been seeing them everywhere. Dallas is almost a mandatory event for the Kings of the South because of the love that they've showed us and we've grown into and the brotherhood that we bonded on. So that's Dallas second and none. But I mess with all the second and none. Shreveport. Um, um, I mess with Shreveport. Uh, Houston. Big P and all of them down there. Um, um, that's my boy with the shirt off all the time. Ron C, I think it is, whatever. But, um, you know, I can name members from damn near multiple chapters. Shreveport, Houston, Dallas, um, my man Aunt Phoenix, uh, L.A., uh, period. And they just got a new Atlanta chapter that I'll be supporting big time because of their movement, their nation. Second to none, nation, Don Ray. <laughs> yeah, muscle man, little muscle man. <laughs> Second and nine, Little Rock was at Rare Breed. Second and nine, Tulsa, and oh, matter of fact, Tulsa Rare Breed. I mean, Tulsa second and nine. My man, uh, D Ray, uh, for show him and my um, D Ray and all. That. Also, Arkansas. Um, psh, come on, man. I, I don't start with the second and nine. They got about thirty, forty chapters, but I mess with all of them. The nation is the, the nation is strong. Second and nine, nation is strong. Say John says second and none Little Rock was at Rare Breeze, second and none. Tulsa is strong. Second and none. Which uh Wichita, yeah, my man. What you call him Wichita just uh had his birthday when we was in Dallas. It's strong and treats us like king. Second and none Little Rock rides out to meet me on the highway and ride with me in a little rock when we come. That's what I'm saying. See? Brotherhood come to town. Um a president. I can't think of y'all names right now because I'm trying to, but my the president is a little rock, my man. OG, um, the whole cast down there, man. Period. Second and on San Diego, I showed us nothing but mad pine respect. What I enjoy seeing when you walk around a function and look at the bottom rocker and see different state names from all over the map, and we get that, Tracy, and you will get that if you journey out past your, past your city, past your state. This is one of the things I tell any king: if this state. If the state that you're going to touches your state, you have not went out of state. You just went next door. If you live in Georgia and you go to Alabama, that's not going out of state. You just went next door. If you live in Georgia and you go to Tennessee, that's not going out of state. You went next door. Same thing, South Carolina, Florida, the whole. We, I'm just going next door. If you if the state that you in and the state that you're going to, if they touch, you ain't going out of state. You're going next door. That part. Don Ray, what up with it? Big Mac. President of Lil Rock, Big Mac. Yeah, my man, OG. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, sis, what up? You got to get out of your city. Loop I-285, riders are down. What it do, Kinky? Patricia, what up with it? So that's just my little thing. I tell every king, homie, don't 
Don't call me. Yes, sir. We out here getting it in. We out here riding. We ground pounding. We getting some yonder. Where you at? Oh, we in South Carolina. Boy, stop. You went next door. Would you have to go to the store or something? Would you have to go, you know what I'm saying? You know, now if you're in Texas, yeah. It's still next door, but it's, you know, you want a little ways to go next door. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? So I ain't here, Tracy. You feel what I'm saying? I know y'all, y'all next door is a little bit further than the average next door, but it's still next door. If, if you in, if you in, if you in Texas, if you in Houston, or if you in Dallas, and you got to go to Shreveport, you know, or you know, whatever touch y'all shit, Arkansas and all that shit, it's still next door. It's a little ways next door, but it's next door. <laughs> the only thing there, but Texas is nine hundred miles. So what? If the state that you're going to touches your state, you ain't not going out of state. You're going next door. My sis lady, what it do, man? I love you. Um, uh, okay. Well, I'm gonna try my pound for pound, bros. We going next in September. Way to go. You know what I'm talking about? Way to go, man. Mark uh, Arkansas, hey man, I stole your I stole your piece this morning, man. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, I stole your piece. Yeah, that's right, Aunt. You ain't been doing nothing but going next door, man. You feel what I'm saying? Touch on the smaller clubs getting mad when the bigger clubs don't show up deep to the annual because we have to send members to other clubs. I just spoke on that. What I'm telling you is this. Every weekend there's 15 to 20 events going on. Every weekend. So Kings, for example, I'm going to use Second and Nine since they Second and Nine got 50, 60 members. Okay? If six or seven, eight or five, four, five or six Second and Nines come to your event, take it. Because that's the support. They're showing you support. Hey, man, with everything we got going on, we wanted to make sure we at least sent somebody here to show some love and some support. But see, you you, you, you mad because, damn, we was expecting at least 80 of them niggas to come. That was at least, you see, 8 times, 10 times, 20. That was at least $1,600 or $1,000. That's why you mad, because you didn't get the bread. You got the support, because they came. Second and I was in the building. But you mad because you didn't get the bread. Hmm. Well. So, when you call me, don't say, hey, Cell, we want you to come out and support. Now, call me with the real shit. Hey, Cell, man, is y'all going to spend that money with us? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, y'all got me tripping, man. Hey, Aunt Don, y'all, you know what I'm talking about? They, they, they go to bullshit, man. So it ain't the support that you didn't get because whether we send three or 300, we supported your event. We came out and we showed love because, again, it's 15 or 20 other events we could have chose to go to. Period. But we made sure that somebody from our organization was at your event to show support for your organization. Yeah, so if you was thinking that you was going to pay six months of rent off of the Kings or you was going to buy some furniture or whatever the hell you thought you was going to do with the with the money for the Kings, yeah, we ain't going to be able to do it. We ain't going to be able to do it. Yeah. So go on, call the renter center back, tell them, come, come get this shit because they can't pay the bill. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. We thought the Kings was going to come so we could pay this renter center bill. Yeah, they didn't come. Y'all go on, come get it. <laughs> so, support. Support is not the dollars, man. It's not the dollars. It's the quality, it's the people, the quality of the whole night, the whole thing. If you show up with my shirt off, Take that laugh on the promotion at your event. <laughs> Say, man. That's what we're going to make at our event. Don Ray, it's going to be mandatory for him to have a shirt on. If that nigga take his shirt off, he cannot come to a King's event, man. You feel what I'm saying? My man Flacco just joined in. Flacco, we're talking about support. What is the real support? Some people call it numbers. Well, they try to disguise it with numbers, but it's really the dollars. People are mad because you didn't come and spend that money. They know the Rare Breed Nation. Uh, they, they know the Rare Breed Nation is a 1,000 members. So if Rare Breed only sent 50, 
they mad because they was banking on that whole thousand members. You feel what I'm saying? So that they could pay their rent. LV, what it do? Chance, what it do? So that's what I'm trying to tell them, man. Support is support. It's not the money. Like I said, it's 15 or 20 events going on every... It's only 52 weekends in a year. But it's 52,000 clubs in the United States. Motorcycle clubs. Yeah. And then your club got six members, five, if that. And you mad because the Kings only sent or breed or second and none or next level, or whoever, the bigger clubs only sent a few. Be glad that they did. Or be, you know what I'm saying? Be glad. Because we can't be everywhere at all the time. We can't. We got to pick and choose what we do. Now, understand this. If you ride your motorcycle, I don't give a fuck if you got you plus four more. If everywhere we go, every time we look up, y'all five niggas is in town, or y'all five niggas is out of town, then you're going to get the support. You're going to get it. You don't have to be a big club. You just got to be a real club. You got to be a club that ride their motorcycles to get support. You feel what I'm saying? You don't need a thousand people. You ain't got to have hundreds like Breed or hundreds like Second and None or hundreds like King. You ain't got to have that. You just got to ride your motorcycle. Period. And if you're part of a nation, like the Kings have a nation, Second and None, Breed, and shit, Breed got... 30 chapters. Do you think I can make all 30 chapters? Events? Boots and jeans and anniversaries and clubhouse grand openings. They open up a clubhouse every weekend. <laughs> Do you think I can make them all? No, I can't. Would I love to? Hell yeah. Who wouldn't? But I pick and choose the ones that I can because I got to show support for everybody. It just is what it is. You feel what I'm saying? But I would love to make everybody's event. Edwin Lynn, yo said, I was wondering why, since Atlanta is on one of the biggest bike sets, why don't we put together an annual Atlanta Bike Week like Daytona or Myrtle Beach Bike Week? We try. We're trying to get together. Um, you got to understand this. A lot of this stuff has to do with the fact that you have all these rules and regulations in the bike set. You know, you get to making too much money, certain people get to knocking on your door. And we ain't talking about the police or the feds. But I can't speak on that. That's a whole other subject. I'm going to leave that alone because I don't want to cross no toes. But it's about the money. Yeah. The governing money peoples. Yeah. So a lot of stuff that we... Uh, that we do, you have to do it with all these regulations, go to this person or these people to let them know and then they want to be a part of it or they want a percentage of it or they feel like they're owed this and they're owed that. So, you know, we just got to put it together. You feel what I'm saying? But that part, thank you and the 70 Nation for y'all support. See y'all soon. Off Flocko, you already know how we get out, man. You feel what I'm saying? And again, I was telling them again, in every organization, it's going to be those exceptional people. It's going to be those exceptional people that ride their motorcycle exceptionally well and all the time that will bring a lot of people to your event. You feel what I'm saying? You got those people in every chapter. You feel what I'm saying? We ain't got to call no names. We ain't got to call no clubs. But y'all know who y'all superstar is. It's just like the, it's just like the, NF, just like the NFL or the NBA. Every team got superstars that fill the seats in the stadium. Every football team got superstars that fill the seats in the stadium. People wear their jerseys. You feel what I'm saying? People come uh, with the pom-poms, and they, they come to see that one particular superstar on every team. But that's some real shit in the MC community. In every club. Every club got superstars. At least one, maybe two. You're blessed to have three superstars. You feel what I'm saying? In every club that's going to bring them out because they go to everybody's shit. You feel what I'm saying? They go, they make sure they ride their motorcycle everywhere. You feel what I'm saying? Now, he might be the shit to the world, but he probably the most hated in every club. Whoever the most hated is in your club is probably the superstar of your club. Nine times out of ten, he is. You know what I'm saying? But 
That's just the real shit, though. I'm just telling you some real shit, though. Every club has a superstar. Every club has a person that's going to go hard, that's going to ride their motorcycle, that's going to love, live, breathe, eat, and ready to die for whatever this is on their back. Every club has that. If your club has two or three, you're blessed. If your club has three or four, you're super blessed. But every club got them superstars that fill that that fill the stands. I'm, I guess that's the that's the nice way to say it. Every club got superstars that fill the stands. What y'all need to do is get behind your superstars. Get get behind your marquee players. You feel what I'm saying? Hey, Nikki, you, Nikki, you crazy. Harley's Angels got about eight or nine superstars. Hell, I can name eight or nine of y'all uh, uh, heifers that ride and, and superstars and gonna bring the people out. You feel what I'm saying? But, you know, for those other clubs, you know, every club got a superstar marquee player that the chapter bases their whole thing around. And, and you ever heard this one? Man, them kings ride like a motherfucker. Man, them breed niggas ride like a motherfucker. Man, second to none be everywhere. Hmm. I'm going to stop before I get in trouble now. I'm, 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 I'm finished. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to stop before I get... Omar, I got to stop, man. You talking about come on, I got to stop, man. You feel what I'm saying? If you got to ask if I'm the superstar DeAndre, then it ain't me. If you got to ask who's the superstar of every club, then it ain't... If you don't know, then you don't know. You, you feel what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> every club got them. Every club got a marquee player and a superstar player that fills the stands. They just do. It is what it is. Embrace it, love it. Deal with it. Ride with them. You feel what I'm saying? Tell them to take you with them. Whatever you got to do. Tell them you want to, you know what I'm saying? Man, I want to be a superstar too. Come on. No, sir, Omar, I can't do it. So I'm going to stop on that. But anyway, support. A lot of y'all club need to quit acting like it's about the support you want and tell the truth it's about them dollars you want. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm telling y'all, stop it with the 20 25 and $30 anniversaries. I'm not coming. I'm not going to be able to do it. It's Especially when all you give me is a motherfucking hot dog or a hamburger with some ketchup and some mustard and a party with a DJ that's half ass. I'm just not going to be able to do it, man. I don't care. You can keep your entertainer. You can keep your, we got, whoever we got performing. That's cool. That's cool, but we supposed to be coming to function with y'all anyway. We coming to support y'all anyway and show y'all some love. You feel what I'm saying? That's what we that's what we coming to do. So if I if the king send three, okay. If the king send three, thirty or three hundred, we showed you some support. If that ain't what you want, if the support ain't what you want, just tell us to send some money. Y'all ain't got to come. Just just buy 50 tickets. And we good. If you're a small club, you're a small club. If you're a big club, you're a big club. If you're part of a national organization, you're part of a national organization. And, I'm a, and let me say this. If you're part of a national organization... And ain't none of your other chapters at your party? The hell you want me at your party for? Y'all got 13 chapters and y'all having an event. That means y'all should have at least 5 or 10 from every other chapter at y'all event. So no matter what, it should look like at least 130 of y'all. JP, what it do? My man John Price. You feel what I'm saying? Yard, what up with it? Yard dog, my man Yard dog. If you're part of a national organization, 
You got to have at least five chapters, five different states. And I come to your party. I'm just going to pick a town. Let's say I come to Maytag, Georgia. I just got that off the microwave. Let's say I come to Maytag, Georgia. Y'all got y'all Maytag, Georgia chapter is having an event. And we get there and ain't no other chapters there but just Maytag, Georgia. You might want to reconsider the nation that you in. You just might want to reconsider that. Or you might want to reconsider the, the, the chapter. You might want to Okay, well, we need to do something because we not, you know, we not getting, you know, the love, not even from our own chapter, and but we mad because big sale numbers is, is uh, not coming. Yeah. If your own people ain't coming to fuck with you, quit asking me to come fuck with you. You got five, six, seven other chapters and ain't nobody in the building but you, you and us. And you want twenty dollars at the door, boy. Stop. Tell him again, Tracy. If you're not supporting yourself, don't expect support from nobody else. And I don't even expect you to support me because you're not supporting yourself. So I'm not looking for you. We didn't open up our clubhouse based on renting it out to make money to keep the lights on based on the community coming out, buying a drink and, and spending money, spending their money there so that we can keep the rent paid and the lights on. No, we open our clubhouse because the brothers say, hey, we want to be able to have our own private sanctuary where we can get out and do what we want to do and fellowship amongst each other. That's why your clubhouse should be open. It ain't open to make money. It ain't open to be a profitable business. That ain't what it's for. If you're making money, then more power to you. If your anniversary making money, then more power to you. That shows that you have the support of the motorcycle nation, the support of the community. That's what it shows. But don't open up a clubhouse and then you're mad because six months later you got to close it down. You should have known that before you opened it. You should have known when nobody coming that motherfucker no way. And if you didn't know, guess what? Now you know. Yeah. So, support. It ain't about the dollars. It's about the love, the respect, the hospitality, how good we feel when we're there, and the people that are involved in the club. Your superstars and your marquee players. Just tell you some real shit. Get you some marquee players. Embrace your superstars. Embrace your marquee players. You know what I'm saying? Keep them out on the road. Keep them straight. Put something in their pocket. I know I'm tired. Yeah, I ain't going to even tell y'all that because now yeah, we don't even want to get into that. I'm just going to leave that. What up, JoJo? We're just going to leave that alone. But thank your marquee players for going out there and representing your organization showing support to other organizations who now have to come back and show support to you. And I'm going to tell you another thing. Everything you ask for, you got to be willing to give. So if you want people to come to your shit, you got to go to their shit. I tell the king that every every year. Say, man, the more people that come to ours, the more we got. The more they come, the more we got to go. When they come, we got to go. I'm just telling you some real shit now. The more they come, the more we got to go. You feel what I'm saying? When you got people filling out that book, see, what you need to do is at the party, you need to look at that motherfucker and say, hey, somebody, somebody get the calendar, man. We got to go here, yeah, here, yeah, here. Yeah. We got to go to this thing. Uh, we we got to do that. That's what you got to do. It's, it's, it's swapping, return a favor. But I'm going to tell you something. A lot of clubs, we, and especially us clubs that function together, Ain't need of us buying tickets, man. We just need to just do a yearly swap. Hey, Sal, man, Triple C want 30 tickets. Hey, Triple C, he got 30 Kings tickets. Or 10 tickets, whatever it is. You want 10, we get, I don't care what it costs. If your anniversary is 20, you want to charge 25. Ours is 10, we need to go up to 20, we might, I don't know. But 30 tickets is 30 tickets. Because it's the support, it ain't the money. It ain't got nothing to do with the money. 
I'm just telling you some real shit. Learn how to build bonds. Learn how to build friendships. Learn how to build the community. Your ticket 15 or 20, ours is 10. They go 30 for you, y'all give us 30. But sell, ours is a little higher. Can y'all pay the difference? I tell you what, what y'all spending? Y'all, y'all want 10 tickets? Y'all want 30 tickets at $10? That's $300? Okay, well, we want $300 worth of y'all tickets. So now you just lost seven, eight, ten kings that was coming because, you know what I'm saying? Instead of 30 kings coming, only 300 worth of kings coming. <laughs> that's that's what it is right there. 300 worth of kings coming. So you're going to get $300 worth of kings when you could have got 30 kings. So we could have swapped 30 tickets. But now, you got $300 worth of kings coming. So, anyway... Support each other, businesses. Support it all. Today's message was brought to you by, first off, RMJ Promotions, Gotham City Bike Fest. Going down Fayetteville, North Carolina, September. Be there, September the 16th, 17th weekend. It's going down, RMJ Promotions. Also, Philly, Team Money Cycles, going down next weekend. Not this weekend, but next weekend. And and, and and PA and then we got BAM Kings of the South going down feel what I'm saying that's in Florida that's our Florida chapter can you see this and see that it's going down so stay tuned that's my dime that's my time I'm getting it right now mama I'm getting it right now that's my dime that's my time I love y'all Mr. I Queen know. oh I thought Okay. Anyway, love y'all. See y'all then.